I'm recording this video on my OpenBSC 7.6 using my Intel GPU hardware encoder. Yes, I know these are a lot of fancy words in one sentence, but put it simply, actually I'm recording this video on OpenBSD using my Intel GPU running FFmpeg. Yes, that was not possible prior to the OpenBSD 7.6 because VAPI was missing. VAPI stands for Video Acceleration API, is a user land driver that actually brought to Intel and AMD GPUs so that GPUs can be used for 2D accelerations such as video encoding and video decoding. Mind you that this is this differs from 3D acceleration, uh, which actually most of the games using, and that's already in place for OpenBSD. You don't need to be worried about it. Of course, we are not talking about NVIDIA drivers or NVIDIA GPUs. NVIDIA is something completely different. It's a different beast, and there is little to no support for it on OpenBSD. So, having VAPI in place, up and running, actually will make your desktop experience much smoother and your programs such as Firefox, MPV and FFmpeg as reported here, they gain actually significant performance and as I said your experience on desktop would be much smoother. So who knows maybe 2025 is the year of OpenBSD desktop by contrast of the Linux. I'm just joking. Uh, we know that never happens either on OpenBSD or Linux, but you know, they said never say never. Nonetheless, uh, if you have AMD GPU, you don't need to be worried about anything because VAPI is already shipped uh, with OpenBSD for AMD. But for Intel, things are a bit uh, trickier. You know, we are lucky ones because actually Intel has two different drivers for, for VAPI. One is for older GPUs or, or older CPU, you can say kind of, and one is for a new, newer one. And you need to distinguish and install the proper driver. Otherwise, things might get messy. I haven't tried it and I'm not actually, to be honest, willing to try it to just figure out what happens. Uh, but just suffice to say there is there are also certain actually CPUs that they support both drivers or GPU actually they support both drivers and probably it's not a good idea to have both in place we are going to figure out throughout this video but that's not the main intention of this video because you know figuring it out although requires a bit of research one can find out within I don't know 15 20 minutes but the main intention actually is to kind of like appreciate the work that is done on porting these packages and also kind of like give a shout out to whomever ported this so the port uh, of the VAPI is done by nobody except the legend Rafael Sodovsky. I hope I am pronouncing his name right. Uh, because this is the same person who ported Wayland to OpenBSD and also who ported KD to OpenBSD. I make sure to link his blog in the video description so you can actually go to the sponsor page and you know support his work in any means possible, whether through one-off donation or through recurring donation via GitHub, or even if you want to use the fancier payment methods such as Bitcoin, here are his wallet numbers. Now, now, let's go back to the topic of which VAPI driver to install. So there are actually two drivers uh, for Intel users. One is Intel VAPI driver and another one is the Intel media driver. VAPI one is the legacy, the old one uh, that, that is no longer supported by Intel. Of course, it's open source. You can go to GitHub, see the uh, source code. Also in the readme file, they mentioned that they really encourage the community to take uh, like kind of ownership of this project, contribute it, maintain it, do whatever that, that is needed. But the Intel Media Driver one is the newer one, is for newer GPUs slash CPUs. So when it comes to the Intel GPUs, uh, they have their own line of generation, which is not the same as Intel uh, CPU generation. So for example, if you have a an Intel actually CPU, let's say is a Core i5 
I don't know, fifth generation, this doesn't mean that actually you have an Intel GPU, which is fifth generation. And Intel GPU's uh, generation is actually uh, starts with Gen, uh, with the capital G, and they put actually the number of the generation after after Gen. This is not the main intention. We, we just want to figure out what driver to install, right? So here is the rough guideline. If you have any Intel CPU that is Intel uh, Core i 4th gen, codename Haswell, or older, for example, I have a ThinkPad T430 and it's shipped with Intel Core i5 3320M, a codename Ivybridge. For that, you need to actually install Intel VAPI driver or the legacy driver. To do that, all you have to do is to open your terminal. Here I'm going just to quickly show you. Of course, it's super simple. Do as pkg add Intel VAPI driver. And it's useful to install also libvyutil so you can actually utilize uh, some command lines, uh, basically commands from it to make sure that the VAPI is doing its, its thing, you know, it's up and running. Now, if you have any Intel CPU 5th gen, codename Broadwell or Onward, you need to actually install Intel Media Driver. For instance, on this laptop that I'm currently recording the video, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad T480 and it's actually using Intel Core i5 8350 8th gen, right? So that means I have to actually, for this device, install media driver. So for that one, I can just type do as pkg add Intel media driver and libvo utils. I'm not going to install it because I have already installed it and that's how I'm actually recording my video. Just note that some of the Intel CPUs, you can either install VAPI driver or actually media driver. I think it's for Intel Core i7 and 8th gen. But actually in both cases, Intel recommendation is to use Intel media driver because it has actually better performance and also it's kind of like a future proof in that sense. You don't need to rely on the old VAPI driver in case that some of the, you know, um, operating system, they don't, they decide to not ship it or whatever, or if, it, or if it breaks because it's too old. And once you have the packages installed, you can just type VA info and you should get an output like that. That means that actually the VAPI driver is there here you can see it's using um, it's basically recognizing my intel gpu and everything is fine in the next video i'm going to show you how to actually use the hardware acceleration on your firefox mpv and also how to record or even actually live stream uh, from openbsc using ffmpeg with hardware acceleration because that's different you cannot just type ffmpeg whatever and then expect basically hardware encoding you need to actually pass a specific flag and it's a bit more work than just a, a usual ffmpeg script that's all for this video i will see you actually in the next video have a great time i want to thank all of the amazing patreon and coffee supporters your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content thanks again for your generosity and contribution